Hello. Yuki again. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to move a pod inside a SolidWorks assembly file. Um, some people have trouble not being able to move their pod when they first drop a pod inside their assembly. So this is just a video on how to be able to do some, be able to move your pod. So I'm going to create a simple cylinder, cylinder like I do for the other videos. Um, just define it as five inches, extrude it one inch, and that's it. This is all I'm gonna work with in this video. Um, I'm gonna save it here. After that, I'm gonna go into the part assembly, and that's the part I want. And I press OK. So right now, no matter what the heck I do, it says the selected component is fixed, it cannot be removed. So to fix that, all you have to do is go to the left tab here, right click, and click on float. This will make this part be, be able to move and do anything you want with it. Another thing that's cool about this feature is if I insert a part, just make it the same part, I can move, the, I can place it the mouse here or if I just press the check button here what it actually does is it actually puts the part into the in the origin actually so if I go to evaluate mass properties you can tell that this part is in the middle of the origin created here so if you want to put something on the origin and do some mass mass properties um, this can this is a way to do it instead of moving it manually to the origin as well um if you found this video helpful leave a like and sub thanks